Okay, so we're continuing on looking for relationships between logarithms and exponentials. And the key relationship to our logarithms and exponentials is that they are inverses of each other. And that is such a key idea. Because what inverses are, if you remember, they're undo they're the undoing. Okay? So if I start off with some, I don't know, with some variable a. And I take a and I apply an exponential of base b. So now a is the exponent. Now if I want to undo this property, I'm going to do the inverse, which is then I'm going to apply a logarithm of base b to that. And if I do that, it ends up canceling each other out and I'm left with a because inverses undo each other. And so this is a true statement. That's so if I look at this particular piece here, log base b, b of x is just equal to x. Similarly, if I start off with a, and to a I'm going to apply a logarithm of base b to this a. Now if I want to undo that, I'm going to take this whole component and make it an exponent to the common base. Logarithms and exponents are inverses, and so that means I end up with back with a. They cancel each other out. They undo each other. And so here I get x. And so anytime I see these relationships here in either form, I know that they simplify away. So here, let's consider this. We're going to use the inverse properties to simplify this. Well, here I know, well, this is log 3, and 81 is a special number in terms of 3 because it's 3 to the power 4. Well, I know that this 4 has been put to an exponential, which has been put to a logarithm, is going to simplify to 4 using the idea of inverse. Similarly, if I do this one, you should pause it and try it yourself. Because using videos is, is an interactive thing, so make sure you're pausing and trying these ideas yourself. Okay, now that you're back, here's my solution. It's 1 over 32. And I know because it's adding here, I'm going to use the properties of exponents. It's going to be b to the log base b4 times b to the log base b8. And so this is 1 over 32 times, well, by the inverse properties, this is just 4. Times the inverse properties, this is just 8. And so it ends up being just 1. Try another example here. <clears throat> Again, pause it. Try it yourself first. We want to evaluate what these exponents, what these expressions mean. Go ahead, pause. Okay, now you'll see me do it. So base 3, and I know that 27 is a special one in terms of 3. It's 3 cubed to the power 5 plus log 5. And again, 125 is special. It's 5 to the power of 3. Here, I know from my exponent rules, this is 3 to the 15. These are inverses. This exponential and this logarithm are inverses. They cancel each other, so I end up with 15. Again, they're inverses, so I end up with 3. So the answer is 18. Switching over to B, again, please try it yourself. I know that this is equal to log 3. 3 to the minus 2 is 1 ninth. Subtract, well, logs and exponentials are inverses, so that is just this value 3. And if I continue, can continue looking at this, I end up with negative 2 minus 3, which is equal to negative 5. 